There we go. Yeah, of course. Good morning, good afternoon. It's almost 3 p.m. And today I don't feel like doing anything. I think I'm having my, um, my Switzerland hangover because it was so pretty and gorgeous over there. Of course, a press trip is always like a dreamland. Like you can never, you know, live in a dream. And I wouldn't want to because I like having my, both of my feet on the ground. But today the weather in the Netherlands is so gray and rainy and uh, the past two days I've been okay -ish productive and editing videos and stuff like that but today I'm just like oh, I want to lay in my bed and not do anything but I still have some things to do I I also had a coffee date which I canceled because I want to get some work done and after that we are meeting Laura from the US who is visiting Amsterdam and she asked me like would you mind showing me around in the red light district and I was like what that is so freaking cool of course I would love to do that so that's what we're going to do later um right now I'm quite hungry so let's see I think I have some leftovers 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 from yesterday this is gonna be lunch oh it's really hot some leftover dough and some green beans keeping it healthy man keeping it healthy guys I have a serious question for you so I was just editing the Switzerland vlogs and on most days I filmed more than 30 minutes which is just way too long for now but that's also what my question is about because for me it's honestly heartbreaking to throw away uh, half of the footage and maybe you guys would want to see that so in my head like an ideal vlog is 10 minutes but I know like vlogs are more and more a daily routine and also I myself enjoy watching long vlogs I've watched like the Zoella Christmas vlogs for 40 minutes and I honestly don't mind the only thing is I cannot watch that every day because it's just too long you don't have 40 minutes every day so I was wondering can you can you please let me know down in the comments below what is your ideal vlog length and uh, would you mind seeing a long vlog maybe once in a while or something your feedback is much appreciated thank you so much also still craving chocolate madly deeply truly oh I would really really like some chocolate tomorrow is my other niece's birthday so Shalia's little sister Sherilyn and I'm planning on having lots of cake and I will have chocolate tomorrow but today Gotta keep it clean, gotta keep it clean, man. Well, hello from Central Station. I'm here because I'm going to meet Lauren from the US. She is visiting Amsterdam and she sent me an email uh, asking if I would like to show around in the red light district because she's by herself. Now, the red light district, you can totally do it as a solo female, but I thought she sent such a fun and sweet email that I really wanted to meet her and show her around. Wow, somehow the weather really, really cleared up and Amsterdam is looking mighty fine in the sun. I love my city when the sun is shining. I love my city in general, but it's the prettiest when the sun is shining. Also, this is the freaking coolest backpack I've ever seen. Damn it. Show me your backpack. There we go. So cool. And even with a, like a Pikachu lightning plushy thingy. That's so cool. Well, hello. Hello. This is Laura. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Laura from New York, here in Amsterdam for four days. Four days! And she took a seven hour flight. Seven Holy hours. Crap. Yes. And we're, we're gonna here. Yes. And we're going to walk around in the red light district. <laughs> so let's do this. Laura specifically wanted to see the narrow street here in we Amsterdam. Go, guys. Yeah, come on. We're gonna film you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, of course. Look. It's crazy, right? <laughs> but it, it's, it's so easy to pass the street, but it's really fun. You should definitely do it if you're in Amsterdam. Yay! Hello! <laughs> it's so windy here. I don't know why. Cool, right? I'm just waiting for you to pass next to the windows. I don't know if the girls are working. No, they are not working. Oh yeah, I should It's too early. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. Yes, Thank it you was. Thank you for sending me an email. You. It was really fun. You it was have such to a pleasure. Meet up. Yes. Meet up. For sure. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I'm on my way home because Stefan is home. 
on a Friday for the first time and we have a dinner date. Usually he's over at his parents' house on Friday, but they have a, I think they have a wedding this week or something. So he's home and uh, we didn't know what to do, but I just got our steak out and I think we're gonna watch a movie and just have a nice Friday night together. Back home and can we just seriously for a second talk about making a new friend from the US through these videos. Laura, you are the sweetest person ever. I can't even. I'm so freaking happy you sent me the email and I got to meet you. And she gave me a, a, this card. Laura, I hope you don't mind me reading it out loud, but I read it in a tram and it was the sweetest ever. I can't even. Wait, let me find it. So it's a thank you card and she says, Dear Ivana, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your YouTube videos. If it wasn't for your wonderful, friendly, upbeat and warm personality, thank you, I'd be lost. I hope you have an incredible journey back to India and may enjoy, um, and may enjoy. I also hope you enjoy this little gift and don't feel guilty for eating it. Again, thank you and I'm so happy to have come across your vlog and learning so much about you, your city and travels. Cheers to your new friend, Laura. P.S. Visit the States whenever you want. I can't, I can't. This is so incredibly sweet and especially because just recently like the whole discussion about switching from Dutch to English came up again and uh, like I haven't been sorry for one second from switching from Dutch to English but Elora again confirms that this is the right decision because to be very honest there are so many people in this world and I love meeting people all over the globe and if my vlogs weren't English I wouldn't have never met Laura so um, I'm still debating if I should make like a frequently asked questions video because you know, like the people who have been with me from the beginning, they understand why I vlog and why I switched from Dutch to English, but there are still new, also Dutch people coming uh, on my channel and they keep asking like, why do you vlog in English? And why do you vlog in English? And your English is not that good. No, my English is not perfect, but most people around the globe can understand me. And I feel like I should just make a frequently asked questions video and put it in the description down below and then this whole discussion is over in my opinion because I feel so blessed to be vlogging in English and meeting new people like Laura. Laura, uh, thank you. Also, that's the gift that she got me like I can't even. She got me this. Oh no, I hope it's not melted because I had it on the hot uh, things. Look at this. Look at this. American candy bar. So we have over here a Butterfinger, Almond Joy, Hubba Bubba Max. Oh my gosh, outrageous original. Yes, give it to me. Artificially flavored and payday. So I'm for sure making a video about tasting American candy. Thank you so much, Laura. It was a pleasure. This is what we're having for dinner. Just walk to walk, take out. You can't see it. Mm. So this is Stefan's rice noodles with mushrooms and chicken. And I have stir-fried vegetables with tofu and uh, cashew nuts. So good. Watching a movie in bed. One of my favorite activities. And we are going to watch The Big Short, which apparently won an Oscar. I fell asleep, so... This is heaven. This is heaven. If you like the vlog, put a thumbs up. Like this. This is the next day and uh, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button because then you can travel along. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!